up you two suck i shall here i'm at the kobe swap meet gonna go in there check it out haven't been here in a few months so it's about time to go back check it out see what kind of cool stuff they have but first we're gonna hit up chick-fil-a get some fuel for the day or for the morning it's gonna be my son's first uh swap meet so hopefully it bring us uh, brings us some good luck Hey guys, I just dropped off the family. I'm gonna be going on my own for the rest of the day. I'm gonna head over to the Gonzalez Northgate Market, pick up a few things. While I'm there, I might as well shoot some video, show you guys uh, what it is. It's a Mexican supermarket. They have a bakery, they make tortillas, and they have food you can buy, ready to go. But uh, it's a pretty cool store. It's kind of in the ghetto hood, but there's other locations too. So if you're in the San Diego area, or, uh, you know, you should definitely check it out. Here's the Mexican bakery. These are all these cool things you can find. Look at these cookie shaped like watermelons. And the marinitos, the pigs, cuerquitos they call them. Little pig shaped bread. Lots of good stuff here, lots of sugar. Definitely the Mexican bread has lots of sugar in it. But it's all good. Especially with some coffee. Watching a good flick. Yeah. Usually got 
fresh fish, pesca de la vida, and carnicería with all the meat. Here's where they make all the tortillas. And we get the masa, which is the flour ready to go in different colors. You got the strawberry flavors, yellow ones, you got the little salt there. Not bad. And then uh, the tortillas, which they make here. The piñatas. Can't have a Mexican market without piñatas. And over here is where you can get food. There's like seafood there, and over there is carniceria. So I think we're gonna pick up some ceviche here. Here's got the shrimp ceviche. Fish, I'll probably get the fish, which is this one right here. It's pretty good. And they got salsas and all kinds of stuff. Fruit cocktails. Good looking chicken there. Pretty good. Nice. Very nice. Chicharrones over there. The little taqueria they have in here. You can get all the food here. You take it a go or even here. It's pretty good. I've been here before a couple times. It's not bad. The dessert, which I'm going to be sharing with my wife. Uh, I got this uh, rice pudding, arroz con leche, which is really good. I've had it before. And also picked up some ceviche right here. Fish ceviche for six bucks, not bad. This is pretty big. Which is basically, it's fish marinated in lime juice. Well, it's, it's raw fish and it's cooked in the lime juice. So you just leave it in the lime juice and you know, it has tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos in it. It's really good. Okay guys, my next stop is Book Off. I'm gonna go in and see if they have any movies, toys, anything cool. And then after that, we're gonna hit up next door, Mitsua market we just went to a mexican market and now we're going to go to a japanese one they have a cool little anime shop in there Guys, I'm at my final stop of the day, Southern California Comics. I haven't been here in over a year, but back in my comic book buying days, I used to come here a lot. Uh, so let's go in and check it out, see how much uh, it's changed.
just left SoCal Comics, picked up a whole bunch of monster magazines for like a dollar. Cool find there. Uh, we're gonna head on home, then I'll show you uh, my pickups for the right, day. Guys, I'm back home. These are the pickups I had today, all from various locations of Swap Me, uh, comic book store. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at these items. All right, guys, one of my pickups at the Kobe Swap Me was this set of Battle Beasts. These were made by Hasbro in the late 80s. I had a whole bunch of these as a kid. Uh, these two in the back came with weapons. And it was always hard. To, it's always hard to find these with weapons because they're so easy to lose. But they're all modeled after animals. Like here we have a horse, an octopus, a giraffe. It's like a leopard. This I don't know what this is. But anyways, battle beasts are cool. If you ever come across these, definitely pick them up. And my other pickup from the Kobe saw me was Chippendales Ratchet Rangers on the Nintendo. Got this for a good deal. Only paid 10 bucks for it. Usually goes for more than that online. Got one at 12, but I took them on a 10. So this is a great pickup. Awesome Capcom game. Capcom make good Disney games. If you ever come across Chippendale, pick it up. I didn't find anything at Book Off, but at the comic book store I did pick up picked up a whole bunch of dollar stuff, including this Godzilla Kingdom of Monsters. It's a little junior paperback novel. Pretty cool. Can't wait to read this to my son when he's a little bit older. And also at Southern California Comics, I found a big long box full of famous monsters magazines, all pretty cheap for like a dollar. So I picked up a couple. Here's one uh, that features Frank and Son Conquers the World, you know, a Japanese monster movie. And uh, this one was originally priced at 50 cents. I believe this is probably from the late 70s. There's no year on it, but that's awesome. And the other ones I had, where's a whole bunch of Star Wars ones I picked up? Like this one, I don't know if you can see the year, it's 1977. This is awesome. Over here we got another one with Darth Vader. And we got this one. This is from uh, August 1980, issue 166. This one talks about the Empire Strikes Back. And we have another one, issue 139. It's also from 1977. Issue 190. Where it talks about the Empire Sharks back. Here we have this one. Another Empire Sharks back one. It's from uh, 1980. And this one has uh, also has an article on Godzilla, the inside story of Godzilla. So can't wait to check that out. And then the last one was this one, another Star Wars special. So for a dollar each, not bad. Okay guys, thanks for watching today. That's the end of the video. Remember to hit the like button, leave some comments if you have any, and subscribe. I got more videos coming up. Might do a contest or two, have some Comic Con swag that I want to give out to you guys, but you have to be a subscriber. So stay tuned for that. I'll try to get that video up next. Thanks for watching. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I am out.